All right, so if you have watched the history about the bullet, there was a time that I had a very large Stita sway bar on the back of the car. I still have the one on the front, but one day driving home, the one on the back just sheared right in half on the side. And so the car does not have a sway bar on it, and it hasn't had one for a while. And I know some Mustangs came with them, some didn't, you know... I'd heard that the later S197s, it was an option or they didn't have them or something. So I didn't really care too much about it, but I decided it's probably time to put one on and I do have an extra one from a GT axle. So I got some extra hardware and got ready to put it on and I've been meaning to do this for a while. And so it's finally time to get in here and put this on. And I didn't think it was gonna take very long, but I did have to modify the brackets that hold the parking brake and ABS lines on on each side because this is, is an aftermarket control arm here on the bottom and the top, it's tubular control arms. And so I ended up having to do some stuff to get that to work out. But anyway, I, I took the bracket off here and that's how I've been driving the car for the last several years. I just had it on there like that so everything was bolted up and in a good place so it was okay but basically um, I got the top bolts on first the ones that are closest to the front of the car and then I would go through with a hammer and just kind of tap and tap until I could get the other side on you have to wedge it on and if you notice the sway bar is actually upside down in this uh, part of the video so I did have to go back take it off and flip it over so it was it was kind of a process but mostly it was getting the brackets all lined up and I'll show you what I did with those when I was done here but I did use the jack to help lift the sway bar and then line up the holes so that kind of helped but you have to be careful because there's tension each side of the sway bar is now being wedged between the lower control arms here and so I just played with it like that until I got the bolts into place and again I think the sway bar is actually upside down in this part of the video but don't worry I took it off and put it back but this is basically how I did it I got those first bolts in and then I would lift it with a jack and I'd even um, use my foot to pump the jack in place where I needed it so that I could get those holes lined up and get the bolts started. So that was just something I had to do. But anyway, it worked out nicely and I got everything in and it even started raining. I had to close the garage door and dry off my tools and stuff and, you know, get back at it. But here we are. This is all finished now. And so here's where the tubular lower control arms are. And that's uh, the bottom control arm. And then you can see I have a... a the factory bolt going through with a, a nut on the back side now and this is the bracket here that holds the abs line on that's the uh, abs sensor line and then this one down here is the parking brake and so now that's all snug and tight i had to bend the top of the bracket 180 degrees so that that could fit i was going to try to cut the top of the bracket off but it was uh, easier to just bend it all the way around and so it worked out nicely and I'm very happy about that. So now we'll go for a little drive and I would like to introduce to you what I call the wife traction control system and if you can't guess what that is you can just watch in the video. That's what I call the wife traction control system. So instead of a light blinking on the dash and the engine getting bogged down or the brakes pulsing or whatever, you have the wife there to whack you if you get a little bit out of control. <laughs> There's the glare. <laughs> yeah, she's a sweetheart. So that's just funny. She looked at me again because I made a little more noise after she'd already whacked my arm. So. <laughs> 
Oh, so anyway, I uh, took the bullet to work and I drove it and parked it here and uh, I've been just wanting to enjoy the car in the nice cool mornings because um, it's not very hot here right now but it does get over 100 degrees a lot and I don't like driving the supercharged cars in the heat so uh, the Mach 1s and the GTs are great daily drivers in the heat but I wanted to get the bullet out and drive it a little bit more well it's still relatively cool out and there's nice evenings and mornings to drive and so I had put this um, bullet piece on there I thought that looks pretty good in the engine bay and I do watch the car on the security camera somebody did key the silver GT unfortunately so wasn't sure if it was at work or not but I park it where the security camera is on there so really nice uh, time with the bullet and just a couple little things like that to do to it nothing serious just had to put the sway bar back on and uh, I've been meaning to do that for a long time and I saw it in my parts bin and I was like oh I need to get that on there so just enjoying the car having a lot of fun for the bullet so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more mustang content